بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Unit number two, Living Organism, Lecture two. From cell to tissue. In previous lecture, we have studied about the cell. That what is the cell? Cell is the structure and function unit of the living organism. Tissue. Tissue, when same kind of cells that performing same function and they are grouped together, that is called tissue. There are different kind of tissues like muscle tissue, which have the ability of contraction and relaxation. Then, when tissue combine, they form an organ. That, for example, this is heart. In this heart, different kinds of tissue are there. Later on, we will study this heart in very detail. Then the organ combine and form a system. You can see here in this diagram a system. This is a circulatory system. There are different organs, different parts. There is the heart, there is the capillaries, these are the arteries. The red color show the arteries and these are the veins. So different organ they combine and form a system. And then finally different system combine and they form an organism like digestive system, respiratory system, circulatory system, etc. and they form an organism. Next lecture is transport and plant. What is transport? Transport the movement of different material inside the plant body that is called transport. The For the transport system in the plant there is a system that is called vascular system. This is a system of transport and plant and it consists of two kinds of tissue. Xylem it is made of long dead cell, thick which is thick wall uh, and these cells are called vessels. The function of this uh, xylem to conduct water and then minerals from the root to the stem and finally to the leaves. Another kind of tissue that is used for the transportation that is phloem. Phloem is made of long thin wall living cell which are called CV tubes and the function of this CV tube to uh, they transport the prepared food that is glucose from the leaves to the all parts of the body like root, stem, leaves, flower etc. Either it is for the storage or for the consumption. You can see here in this diagram, this is a xylem vessels and in this xylem vessel the water and minerals that are conducted from the root to the leaves. And this is a phloem tissue and these are the CV tube cells. These CV tube cells, they are end to end, these are attached and the ends, they, they are small hole and these are perforated. So uh, in this tissue, in this CV tube, uh, the preferred food from the leaves to the all parts they are carried. Now what is transpiration and transpiration pull? In this diagram you can see a tiny plant. Uh, this is the, these are the roots, this is the stem, this is the leaf and inside the leaf there are veins. Let magnifying this uh, leaf is the magnifying form of this part. You can see here there are different cells uh, where photosynthesis take place. There are, are intracellular space. On the most of the plant on the under surface, there is small opening. This is called stomata. This is called stomata. Now, what is transpiration? The evaporation of water from the aerial parts of the plant is called transpiration and most of the transpiration they take place through the stomata. Now what is transpiration pull? This transpiration it help in the conduction of water from the root to the leaves but how? through a pull and that is called transpiration pull. Now let explain what is transpiration pull. Now let consider this is a cell. From this cell the water is evaporated in this intracellular spaces and it come out. 
so this cell is deficient in water this cell drag water from adjacent cell then from this cell and finally come to the xylem and the xylem then come to uh, then the xylem drag this water to the respective cell below and finally this deficiency come to the root hairs and this root hair the water come to the these root cells this is called cortex cells and finally the root hair cell it pull the water from the soil you can see here there are soil particle in this are particle there are water vapors are present so a pull is created and this pull is because of transpiration pull and by this transpiration pull the water is transferred from the root xylem to the stem xylem and from the stem xylem to the leaf xylem and from the leaf xylem finally that is provided to the these cells and this is the end of second lecture of unit 2 thank you